packed everything she could grab into a car and with her two young children drove away from the place she called home. She was lonely and afraid. All that she owned fit into a small silver liberty. When she finally got to where she was going, she found a battered women and children shelter. With the help of numerous volunteers, that young mother got a second chance. Those volunteers would never know the impact they had, not only on that mother, but on her two small children, in giving them a, group, a new bright future. Volunteers are the unsung heroes. They are the people who don't mind putting themselves second to someone in need. Volunteering is not practiced enough in this country, and you need to change that. Not only will you help someone else, but you will find that you get much more out of it. Volunteering has many benefits, such as health benefits, career options, and experiencing new opportunities. As far as health benefits, the National and Community Service Organization said that those who volunteer have lower mortality rate, greater functional ability, and lower rates of depression later in life than those who do not volunteer. One main form of volunteering are marathons or 5K walks or runs. These physical benefits are stress relievers, overall wellness, and can be an incentive to get healthy. We definitely need that in this country. The mental benefits are a sense of achievement, joy and confidence, self-worth, and social ties. You can find your sense of achievement and joy and confidence in helping other people as they need your help and your self-worth in not maintaining only yourself and social ties if you are to form those friendships with the people you volunteer with or the people that you're helping. Volunteering also offers future benefits for your career. If you're in your current career track, 73% of employers believe volunteering adds to skills needed in the workforce. And 95% of employees who volunteered had benefited, had benefited either by receiving their first job, salary improvement, or promotion. If you would like to explore new careers, you can volunteer, such as building houses for people who need them that can open up a career in construction. You can also further your education with volunteering. Many master schools and colleges require service hours to find out if you are looking beyond yourself. Volunteering can also offer, offers new opportunities. You can acquire new skills, such as building a birdhouse for charity. If you do not know how to build things, you can do it by volunteering. You can also develop old skills. If you paint a mural for an animal shelter, you can, if you don't normally have an outlet for your painting, you can do this in this way to further your old skills and have an outlet. And probably the most common is visiting a new place. Kim Bradley said, as she visited Honduras, she said that each trip has had its own amazing quality and each have changed my life. I truly feel that the gift I receive in going is greater than the gift I leave behind. And this is her group in Honduras. Matthew 25, 35 says, For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. <coughs> we are called in this life to be generous and walk beside the hurting. What better way to do that than volunteer? Not only can you make a lasting difference in someone's life, but you will also make a lasting difference in yours, through health benefits, career benefits, and new opportunities. Who knows what difference you will make in a young, battered mom? You can be the one that gives her little girl a new future. I would not be here today if it weren't for the volunteers that helped my mother. What can you do to truly change someone's life, even if it is your own?